Hello everybody, it's Austin Holliman back with another video and today we're going to sit down, we're going to do a vlog today but we're going to have a talk about my new thing, hobby, habit, whatever you want to call it that I picked up and just a little uh, opinion video on why I do certain things. Now I want to make a disclaimer, this is not me explaining myself, this is not the video for you to come list the FDA's dangers or whatever that there may come from alcohol and drinking. I am 24 years old. I grew up in the United States, so they taught us about drugs and alcohol since I was like three foot tall, since I was like nine years old. So you're not telling me nothing new. So there's, don't even waste your time leaving those comments below. I'm also not telling you to start any of these habits. I'm gonna say it again, I'm not telling you to start any of these habits that I have. I'm just telling you why I do them and maybe somebody can relate give your input but those things I just told you I don't need to hear them I don't need to hear any health benefits <clears throat> now let's get into the video why do I smoke cigars and drink alcohol well the reason I drink alcohol number one is socially I do not sit around and drink all day I'm not an alcoholic I stop very often throughout the week I don't drink as much as I do in the weekends but a benefit that I get from drinking alcohol is just like everybody else or it should be for everybody else which is i get to mellow out and relax if you know me and you've met me in person a lot of people and even myself i'm very aware of it i pay attention to the room i have a very militant uh demeanor and i've gotten that for years and i'm and i love it that's good that means that i can be taken serious but sometimes i don't always want to be like that and usually a shot of vodka uh or yeah, let's just go with vodka. A shot of vodka will relax me and it won't go away, but it'll just mellow me out and makes me a lot more approachable and makes it easier for people to socialize with me. Do I need alcohol to be approached or to approach other people? Absolutely not. If you really know me and you met me in person, you know that I am very approachable, but I become more approachable and I'm less militant when I drink and I'm not so on guard alert like I'm in the middle of some battle or something. Now, <clears throat> why do I not like to drink alcohol? Just like most people, whenever you wake up in the morning after drinking, especially if you over drink, you kind of wake up with the, the fuck it attitude. Like you're just kind of like, you know, ah, we'll do this later. Well, you, you become very passive, very lazy, and excessive alcohol use is not good to, um, let's say, achieve your goals or have a pursuit of, a true pursuit of happiness, or just anything positive, alcohol is pretty much not gonna help you in the long run, let me just say that. The next day I'll be kinda slow, and my skin loses its glow when I over drink. So, what did I do, or what did I replace it with? I, when I was in Tanzania, I was introduced to cigars for a third time, and I'm like, okay, I think I, I like this. I ended up getting sick because I smoked three, four Maduros in one day, which nobody told me I couldn't do that. Well, some people did, but y'all know I don't like to listen. So I did what I wanted. I got sick and I stopped to show you guys that they're not addictive, like people would say, because you're not inhaling the smoke. They're a habit. They're not an addiction, though. So I like smoking cigars, number one, because it's better than drinking. I can operate just fine. You know whenever you drink five shots and then you get a DWI or a DUI, whatever it is in your country, a DWI, driving while intoxicated, you don't get that from cigars. If you smoke a cigar, you can do you can go back to work just fine. I mean, as long as you didn't smoke it on the empty stomach, otherwise you're going to feel like you smoked weed. But you can go back to work just fine. You can drive a car just fine. You can so it'll be like nothing happened. You just very relaxed. You could smoke three cigars in one day, and that should be an all-day thing if you're going to do that, which is what I do. Um, and you'll be just fine. But if you decide to drink three shots of tequila, somebody's going to be able to tell. And it's usually not going to be in a positive way if you have something important to do like work or you have to go do a speech. You could smoke a cigar before a speech, and you'll be just fine. So that's one huge difference that the two have. It's not so strong like weed, which I don't use, and it's not strong like alcohol. Now, also when I smoke cigars, I become way more thoughtful. Like I actually, like I said, it makes you relax. So I'll sit back and I'll actually think deeply and I'll come up with new ideas because I'm in a relaxed state and I can actually just be at peace, which I'm at peace always anyway, without nothing. 
because I'm out of the United States, uh, I can just be at peace and just think about what's important and write down notes and write down my, it's just a moment, a slight moment to yourself that you get to relax. And that's another reason why I use them. And also it matches my vibe. I mean, the way how I dress, the, the very um, laid back personality I have, and I don't say much unless if I'm spoken to. Now, if you speak to me, I'll say a lot. But other than that, I don't say much, when I, especially when I'm in public. So I think cigars just goes, fits right in with my life. I also do not wake up sluggish the next day. Like I said before, when you drink alcohol, you wake up the next morning like, fuck it. You smoke a cigar, you wake up like nothing happened. It's like you took a melatonin and not the melatonin that carry over into the next day and make you all droggy. I'm talking about the ones that you just go to sleep and you just feel well rested. Who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want to use something like that that just you can just snap back from? It doesn't interrupt your life. It's not like alcohol or crack or whatever you use it. Stuff gets affected. Nothing's been nothing has been affected by me smoking cigars. Not even my teeth and my breath, because I take care of my mouth anyway. I hit my mouth twice a day. Something y'all need to practice doing anyway. It's also cheap and replaces my alcohol expense, and it's not as expensive as you think. So people think that cigars are for rich people, which I guess if you're smoking cigarettes, it may seem that way because they're they are more expensive and they are premium tobacco. But you can get cigars, good cigars, as cheap as $3. And, you, of course, you got some that's in the thousands. I've never bought one of those. Won't, it'll be a while before I buy one of those, before I have money to just fuck off on a $2,000 cigar or something like that. But when you think about it, like my average cigar is probably 10 bucks. If I go out and hang out and drink, that's what I would be spending on one or two drinks anyway. Or three drinks since I'm outside the United States. But... If you're in the United States, you can buy a cigar for ten, a good one for ten dollars, and you can get, you know, pretty much scammed at a bar for a drink for the same price. And the difference is, the cigar can last all day. You can stop smoking and come back. You can only drink that drink one time, or you're gonna babysit it for an hour. You're not gonna babysit one shot for seven hours. I've never heard anybody doing that. But a cigar, you can literally make it last all day. So it's not as expensive as people think. I mean, $10 a day. If you don't have a spare $10, if I'm talking to Americans and Europeans and Australians when I say this, if you don't have a spare $10 a day, you have bigger issues than trying to smoke cigars right now and drink out. You got a lot of issues if you don't have a spare $10 per day. So just keep that in mind. But also, some people think, well, let me, let me, I'm going to come back to that point. It also looks sophisticated. Like I said, it goes with my vibe, the way how I dress. If you have on a nice suit, it just adds to that aura that that suit gives you. Who cares? I mean, that's just, I don't care. But also, the women love it. And let me tell you something about women. Whenever they tell you they don't like something, believe the opposite. They say they don't like dudes that smoke tobacco. Uh, based off when I, since I've been smoking to, you know, cigars in public, then I, I have to strongly disagree. I get way more choosing signals when I have a cigar. Now, they might not want to smell like it, but at the end of the day, if they get attracted, so they're going to smell like it anyway because they want to be next to Austin. So there you have it. Now, some people say, I'm going to say this, I do not smoke cigars because of the look. I've had a few people since I started doing this say, I think you're just smoking it to look cool. Let me tell you something about Austin. I don't need a damn cigar to look cool. I look cool already. I look, I, look, I'm cool. I don't need a cigar or a drink to look cool. I do this because I want to. Anything you see me do, I do because I want to. If I don't like it, I'm not going to do it. Just like the blind date that I went on in Uganda. You saw that I, my vibe is completely different from when I don't have a blindfold open because I didn't want to do that shit. I don't want to talk to people while I have a blindfold on my face. Who does want to do that? Who wants to do that? Also, dudes that smoke cigars in privacy, like in the apartment, by themselves, or on the balcony, or just alone, where nobody can see them, which is what I do, you're not trying to look cool. Who the hell are you looking cool in front of? Yourself? The mirror? 
So anyway, I just want to make that clear because some people think that I just do it to look cool. No, you I, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna smoke something that has been you know accused of giving people oral cancer or yellow. Or, nobody's gonna do that. To, how the hell does that make you look cool? Now, some things I don't like about cigars is that when you smoke them, especially if you smoke them all the way down to the end, they're really strong. You have to go to the bathroom and and poop. And if you're in public hanging out, that's not ideal. I've had plenty of times where I've been at Ibiza and I had to go to the bathroom because I smoked it too fast and now I have to go shit. So, another downside is they make you extremely hungry. Uh, well, not extremely hungry. They just make you, they, for me, I read, I did some research and said that they speed up your stomach acid. So, for some of y'all that are overweight, that may be beneficial. For me, it is too because I'm burning fat. So, it's kind of giving my skin a glow that's arguable i don't know you know tell me what you think but i just wanted to make that quick video for anybody that is uh wanting to try cigars or smoking cigars i will tell you there's been nothing but benefits so far no matter what i just said there's it's a, it's a huge beneficiary in my life right now so i enjoy it don't need it i have certain days i won't do it just make sure i don't need to do it but let me know what you think in the comments and i'll see you on the next